brands we've been tracking for you this evening. Tomorrow, House of Brands and Aditya Birla Venture uh, has invested 155 crore rupees in digital first fashion brand, the Indian Garage Co. Now, with this, tomorrow expands its portfolio in the casual wear space. The Indian Garage Co. has a strong menswear segment that it recently expanded into women's wear and plus size segments with Freehand and Hatsora brands, respectively. To talk to us about this partnership, joining me now is Prashant Aluru, the co founder and CEO of Tomorrow, and Anand Tante, the founder founder of the Indian Garage Co. Uh, gentlemen, welcome to Startup Street. And let me start with you, Prashant. Uh, what made you bet big on the Indian Garage Co? What synergies do you see with the brand? And it does expand your portfolio in the casual wear space. But tell us the kind of impact you, you know, see them making in the space and for your brand. Absolutely. Thanks a lot, Shruti, for having us on your show. I think first and foremost, tomorrow, at tomorrow, as you know, our goal is to build a billion dollar plus house of brands venture, focusing purely on fashion and lifestyle space. And we are today really excited to welcome Anand to the Tomorrow Fraternity and also benefit from the larger ABG and Aditya Birla fashion ecosystem. One of the reasons we bet, bet big on the TIGC brand is essentially one, the leadership position that Anand has built across multiple marketplaces. So I think for a brand which is known for fashionable, trendy uh, products at an affordable price point, he's built a 300 crore brand you know, pretty much bootstrapping his way all the way to this to this stage, which I think is uh, commendable. The so second, of course, is, as you know, our model is a founder-led model. So we, we partner with founders like Anand, who've not yes. only demonstrated, you know, phenomenal execution capabilities, but also have the ambition to build a larger lifestyle brand, you know, memorable brands that, that consumers love. And with this brand in particular, we think the opportunity is not just in Metro Tier 1, but also to expand beyond okay. uh, pan, uh, across India into tier two, tier three cities. Oh, all right. The third, of course, is, you know, in some ways, if you think about where Anant and TIGC are today, I think we think with a lot of the horizontal investments and capabilities that we are, we are investing as tomorrow, I think we can partner together to build a, a lifestyle brand that owns a space, already has leadership, but can get to the 1500 crore plus okay. zone in the next uh, five years. Yes, we'll and delve into That's the reason we bet big. And, and with this, we have eight brands across different uh, categories in, in the <laughs> lifestyle, solving uniquely for the, the different new age consumers, the different new age brands sure. that, uh, that that eventually okay. will be even larger than we're there today. Okay, we'll delve deeper into what you just said, but let me quickly go across to Anand. Uh, Anand, uh, TIGC has seen success growth in the last three years, and like Prashant mentioned, you've clocked 300 crores in revenue in FI23. Partnering with Tomorrow, how do you see this helping you grow your brand in terms of reach and increasing your margins? Uh, thank you for having me on the show, Shruti. Uh, I think uh, Aditya Billa has... Uh, you know, phenomenal capabilities of building brand. Uh, and I think as a group, uh, one of the most respected business house of, houses of India. Uh, I think uh, with this tie-up, we'll have larger access to, you know, technology, larger access to capital, and also a lot of uh, experience of brand building. Uh, what we've done so far in, in, in the journey of Indian Garage, I think uh, it was only, uh, you know, uh, 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 led by fast fashion. Uh, but I think uh, further on, we will look to, you know, have uh, have a more brandification journey okay. uh, towards fashion. Like that. Okay. All right. Uh, Prashant, coming back to you, tell us what is unique about TIGC's offering. And, you know, you tell us how bullish are you on that target? You just mentioned 1,500 crore rupees in the next five years. Where do you see the next leg of growth coming from? Well, first and foremost, we have super bullish. I think I'll be pleasantly surprised if Anand beats us both, either in terms of scale or the time frame to get there. So, so okay. I think quite confident about the target in itself. I think the, the more important part is what we saw unique about TIGC is a founder who's sort of blended well with understanding the demand side with, with a very strong supply chain capability. I think one who understands fashion from the product grounds up to, you know, what's needed to really be ahead of the uh, ahead of the curve and trend, but equally build supply chain that can gear up to that. I think that's one of the unique okay. things we saw in uh, Anand. The second, of course, is to build a large brand like this, which is bootstrapped is very hard. Mm. But I think now with this investment and partnership, we think we don't not only have the watches to get to the next level, but also all the capabilities okay. uh, that are needed to get to the next level. For example, Anand called out technology and data science is one of the areas. Mm. We think, you know, for a brand which has built its, lead, its leadership position on marketplaces, today the, the opportunity is ripe to build a D2C storefront, you know, go deeper into consumer understanding, leverage tech and data science in, in scaling the brand further. That's one capability we bring, to, we bring to the brand. Of course, as a brand scales, we also think multiple channel capabilities are needed to build a the right footprint for the new age consumer across okay. B2C, marketplaces, and offline. Sure. And as we sort of expand into multiple channels, we think 
all of those capabilities we can bring okay. and all of the synergies we see beyond the investment itself all right quickly quickly let me go across to anand one final question before we let you go you've built an end to end design and manufacturing value chain at tigc with the fresh funds raised how do you plan to strengthen that if you could take us through your expansion plans any new offerings in the pipeline and also you know like i mentioned earlier uh, that you know you've got uh, you've you've launched into women's category you've lo launched into the uh, plus sizes category any new categories that you're eyeing so we are a uh, uh, as a brand you know we have the name indian and we are a big believer of the indian growth story uh, so the next step is uh, you know to go global that is one of the uh, you know new offerings that we have we are looking to expand our reach uh, beyond india to venture to middle east and uh, to venture to all southeast asian countries uh, with respect to categories yes we are looking to foray uh, in kitswear uh, we are looking to launch juniors garage as a fresh okay. uh, and fast fashion brand in kitswear uh freehand will definitely fill in the space for uh women's western wear which is predominantly if you see today uh, not many brands operating in that space uh currently and uh, very very unorganized uh, okay. also if you see uh, plus size in india is a very big gap uh, the availability of plus size uh, uh the offering in plus size fashion is very very skewed so uh, we've seen very good <laughs> numbers with our plus size fashion Okay. we are also seeing very very good demand uh, in uh, women's western wear hmm. uh, indian garage okay. as a fast fashion brand will continue to grow uh, we will also look at expanding our own uh, d2c uh, further to cater more and more consumers okay all right so arand you've covered it all men's women plus sizes and now you're eyeing the kids category as well we've completely run out of time but uh, prashant and anand many thanks for joining us on startup street today and we wish you the very best Thank, Thank you so much for having us. Okay.